Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the vlog channel and welcome to my very fun collective haul from my Travel with Julian series to the Middle East. In today's video, it's been a couple of days since I've been back from the Middle East and I feel like it's a good time for me to share with you everything that I got because I got a bunch of cool things and that's one thing I love about traveling is being able to experience the culture, the food, and also to pick up art pieces for my road collection along the way. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I got from Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, and a little bit of France. Also, sound off in the comments down below. What do you think about my short hair? I got a cut and color done in Giza, in Egypt, and I asked for a trim and I ended up getting more than half of my length chopped off so it's kind of disappointing but I am going to just accept it and hopefully it'll grow back soon but it was a very interesting experience and that was the first thing that I did when I arrived back to Egypt was get my hair cut and then the second thing I did the next day was get my nails done and I got my nails done in New Cairo at a Russian nail salon so here's the current vibe of my nails and I I'm always interested in getting things like this done when I'm traveling, getting my hair done, getting my nails done in different places as just something fun for me to do while I travel abroad. So that is what I got done on myself. Let's talk about everything that I got in Lebanon. So I like to collect art pieces around the world and the cool thing about collecting art pieces around the world for me is like almost treasure hunting. I am going to go there specifically to find something that represents that country or the city that I'm in. So if you are familiar with Lebanon, you know that there's a big cedar tree right in the center of their flag. So I went up to the cedars and it was such a beautiful time up there. Everything was nice and covered in white beautiful snow and it was so nice for me to experience that because that was the first time seeing snow for this season for me and I feel like I can accept that once winter is gone I at least seen the snow once this season and what better way to see it than in the cedars in Lebanon so with that being said I was able to pick up an art piece for my collection and I went up there for a day trip I went by some souvenir shops and I picked up this beautiful art piece this is made with cedars now the cedars are protected but they do take portions of the tree down i believe they take the branches of some of the trees down and to collect them to make art pieces but other than that the trees are protected i want to say this might be baobab and then this is the cedars and then this is a nice kata of lebanon so i am super excited about this art piece i went to the temple of uh, juniper and it was so pretty and to be able to have this in my home i really love collecting art pieces along the way that represents that country so every time i look at this i'll remember my time in the cedars so i'm gonna hang this up probably by my south african mask and my uh, hindu uh, ganesh mask that i got from nepal so it'll go up in that section so i'm looking forward to seeing this hung up talk about the treats that i got in lebanon and i have a basket of treats here and my friends family really hooked me up with some really good local food i love being able to meet uh, local families wherever i travel to but it's even especially cooler when there are connections to you from here out there so my co-worker in las vegas has a place in lebanon on the top of his family's building so i was able to stay the first night there i could have stayed there the whole time but because they were on the outskirts of beirut it was easier for me to just get an airbnb in beirut but i did stay at his house for the first night and i did go there on the last day to have a nice meal relax and do laundry and things like that so while i was there the sister had packed me some treats for the week and this was one of them here and i ended up finding it in a local store a local grocery store chain in lebanon called spiny's and i went to spiny's signature in downtown beirut by the sooks and i ended up going in there and picking me up a whole another pack here so i believe there's nine bars in here 
but I saved the one that they gave me just so that I could use this as a reference and wherever I go around the world I love going into grocery stores and just like people watching and just seeing what they're selling and how things are set up there I know I had an interesting time in August in the Philippines going into their grocery stores but this grocery store Spidey's really had everything in there there was different places to eat and sit in there and everything was nice and organized in there so what I did was I asked one of the workers if there was anything that was specifically made in Lebanon and it were these treats and I don't want to mess up the pronunciation of it but I want to say it's called Unica and I think there was a, like another flavor but I got the original so I want to go ahead and try that out and then these are just additional things that um, my friend's mom sent me with and I believe this is like a French chocolate and this is a chocolate that is made in switzerland i believe so it's just interesting to see no imported from south africa okay so there's arabic writing in here okay so i was just holding on to these things because i just wanted to share with you the things that they sent me with on my week long adventure in lebanon so let's go ahead and do a test case and I like being able to do these things wherever I travel around the world I love going to grocery stores and picking out local things that are made in that country and see if I like it and everything says for her but I actually have something for her so let's give this a try this was my Lebanese snack that I brought from the grocery store and I actually went to sea sweets to have canefe and I was going on my way out to get one but from my understanding they make it fresh from like 7 in the morning to 2 and it was late at night and it was refrigerated and cold so they actually gave me a piece for free from the refrigerator and gave me a sorry chocolate and I actually ate it on the plane I'm glad that I got 9 bars of it this is really yummy and if I lived in Lebanon I'd probably be picking this up as well for treats to just have all right, so that's everything that I got in Lebanon, but I also got something for Ebby. Now this has, I can't figure out where this is made, but I did get this for Ebby. So let's bring her up here. You wanna come up, Ebbs? I got this also at Spidey's grocery store. So they're little small treats. Take a look at that, come here. Okay, here's Ebby's treats. Oh, wow. Okay, so these are little micro treats, salmon micro treats. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Well, do you love them? She's like, yeah, mom. Whoa. One more. So, you're not even chewing it. They're so, so tiny. Look at that. Okay, one more. That's it, babes, okay? Okay, fine, one more, one more, one more. So this was something that I brought back for Abby. And I love going into the pet section of grocery stores to see if there's anything fun for Abby. So this is yours from Lebanon, Evs. Okay. Grandma, do you wanna see what these smell like? So let's talk about everything that I got in Jordan. And I was there just for a handful of days. And I didn't know what I wanted from Jordan as far as for an art piece or anything. So I decided to go with fashion. And I wanted a Jordanian dress, which I actually got my grandma one. And I don't know where she has it right now. Where is it? Over there. Over the chair. Okay, I'll bring it up to Let's show. Share what I got for my grandma. So I got her a Jordanian dress. So I got my grandma a Jordanian dress, but my grandma says it reminds you of <laughs> what does it remind you of grandma like a priest like a priest because of the, the center. center goes all the way down long so what is your plans for this i'm going to open it up and make a long sleep on both sides okay so i can't wait to see your little rendition. rendition of our jordanian dress so grandma's gonna just make it uh have slits on the side and she's gonna wear pants underneath it just to give it a little pizzazz um but i wanted to bring my grandma back a jordanian dress because last year when we were in egypt i found you the most beautiful dress in giza i used it already yes so that was 
something I wanted to get for my grandma. Then I could not leave this cool store without getting something for me. And I got me our Jordanian. Are you ready for this? Okay, so this comes with a belt as well, which I think is probably in my closet right now. But I will insert a picture of me in that shop uh, so you can see what it looks like on. I'm going to wear this for church this Sunday. And I was thinking either you can wear it with pants, you can wear it with a skirt, or you can wear it with leggings. And you can kind of dress it up in those different ways. But I mean, this cape is so, so rad. And it's definitely a statement piece and something like, where did you get that from? I got it from Jordan in Amman. So that's everything that I got fashion-wise or souvenir-wise for Jordan. Let's talk about the treats. Now, I went this time into one of those convenience stores. And if you've been in the Middle East, there are tons of convenience stores like in every single block. And well, let's just say that I went crazy. I was on my way going to the airport and on my way back to my airbnb to get my things to go to the airport so i stopped in in one of these shops and i looked at every single thing in there that was made in amman or jordan or and i got some really cool stuff and believe it or not i only paid one jd for all of these treats which equal to like a dollar fifty something and i was really stoked i don't know if that was a good deal or if i got ripped off or anything but i took it one JD, let me show you what this I got. This is everything that I got for one JD, believe it or not. So I got these dream uh, marble cakes with cocoa cream and hazelnut flavor. Look at that. So I got one, two, three of those. That is really exciting to try. And then I got this Jordina puff with cocoa cream filling. I got three of those as well. And then I got me three of these dates with wheat flour. I already know I'm gonna love this. This is something very similar to what I love in Egypt. And I got three of these. So I got these nine pieces for one JD. I'm so excited and I've been dreaming about trying these out. And this is my time. So let's go ahead and try them one by one. And grandma will be able to try everything that I open in a second. Evie thinks it's for her. Honey, these are not for you. She, grandma, she thinks it's for her. Okay, so here's the first one that... No, honey, this is not for you. The dream marble cake with cocoa cream and hazelnut flavor. I know it's kind of... Oh! It got smashed, guys, but it's still somewhat in one piece. So let's bring it out. It almost looks like a Twinkie, a marble Twinkie. Mm. Not mad at this. This would be something that I would want to eat while like traveling in a bus or something across country. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I don't want to eat too much because I have more snacks to try. But good. I highly recommend this dream. Dream cake from the brand Jordina. Okay. Let's try the other Jardina treat. This is the puff with cocoa cream filling. Now if I like any of these so much, I'm going to wish that I bought more than three. Let's bring it out. Oh. Here it is. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Good. I'm not mad at this brand. This is a really good grocery store brand. Okay. Good. I'm a fan. They're both slightly different. Um, I'm sure kids in Jordan loves eating these things. Okay. Are you ready for... Oh, I actually got four of these. I thought I got three. So let's eat the one that's maybe smashed. Okay. This one is smashed. So I'm going to try my best to bring it out. And not smash it anymore. Oh, crumbs everywhere. Okay. Let's bring it out. Here's one piece of it. Mm. 
Mmm. I could have this with tea. I'm gonna just bring out the rest so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. It's really good. So there's date filling in there. And guys, I love dates and date fillings of anything. I'll take one more piece and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so that's my Jordan snack haul from the convenience store. Man, boy did I have some fun at the airport. I was trying to exchange my JDs and the guy at the exchange place in the airport told me, no, you should just buy something here. So then I went around and I found another snack shop. Hey guys, but I love collecting tins from around the world. I'm not like a tin collector, but if I'm gonna get special treats and there's an option for a tin and i'm looking at my tin collection here i got a tin from amsterdam as well as norway and japan now i have a tin from jordan look at how pretty this tin is okay so this is a very popular sweet shop in jordan called zala timo brothers for sweets so are you guys ready to see my petty fours. All right, so this cost me right under 10 JDs. Here it is, all my beautiful Arabic sweets. So I'm gonna try my best to have at least one of each. This is why I'm taking little bites of everything. So here is the first one. Good, okay. Let me try this green one here. Looks like pistachios. Ooh, look at this. Very good. Okay. We'll see which one is my favorite in here. Okay. Making my way. Ooh, I see something interesting in here. Not much flavor in that one. Did I try this one? This one looks plain. Okay. There's two interesting ones here. I'm saving for last. Look at this. It looks like date filled. Mmm. This might be my favorite one. I love the texture too. Okay. Last but not least, look at this. Chocolate filled something. Mmm. Maybe with a little rose water, I can't tell. Okay, out of this whole tin, the last two biscuits I had were the, my favorites. So this chocolate filled one and this date filled were my two favorites. So I tried a little bit of each, and this is going to be really good with tea. And I'll be sharing this with my grandma. So I got this for right under 10 JDs. And you can find this at the airport in Oman. And by the way, out of all the airports I've been to on this trip, Oman Airport was the best where I could charge my external battery and my laptop everywhere else I couldn't. So shout out to Jordan for having this uh, little treat shop there. And you can spend whatever JD's left you have in that shop. All right, quick water break. That was a lot of sweets, but I've been literally saving myself to film this haul and give you guys my first impressions. Out of all of the treats that I got in Lebanon and Jordan, I love everything that I got. Now, specifically in oh, Egypt, I love Egypt so much. There was one biscuit that I fell in love with a year ago that I ended up bringing back like 10 packages of it. 
and I ended up going back to Egypt specifically for these biscuits and I bought three cases. So I'm gonna share that with you and then I'll end today's video on what I got as far as for costumes and stuff in Egypt. So let me take a sip of water. I was actually trying to figure out the math. If I had 36 of these biscuits, how much can I eat every couple of weeks? I'm thinking I'm gonna eat one pack until I go back to Egypt and get more. But if my friend's gonna go back in May for a month, then I can at least eat maybe two a month or three a month maybe. So I'm gonna eat one for the vlog. And actually, I had one left from last year that I held on to just so that I remembered what they looked like. So this is what the biscuit looks like. And it is filled with dates. Oh. So good. Something about the texture of the biscuit and the texture of the dates in here it's better than a fig newton it's so good so i'm gonna savor these and i have 36 of them mm. these biscuits are my favorite really so good so let's talk about everything that i got in egypt and this is the reason one of the reasons why i went back to costume shop and let's talk about the first thing that I picked up in this one shopping district in Cairo. It's really cool vest and you've probably seen a lot of pictures of me towards the end of my trip with it on. I absolutely love this thing and I'll be wearing it in the upcoming seasons. I, in fact, I think I just wore it out to dinner the other night and I just love it a lot. It's long, it's oversized, there's a hood, there's pockets and it's just a unique piece so this is my one fashion item that i got from Egypt. i went to hano kalili and that is my favorite place to shop i love the silks and i particularly went back to go shopping again there and i was able to get me more cover-ups so this is a uh, galabea hopefully i'm pronouncing that correct and these are just dresses and i use them for cover-ups in the dressing room in between shows so this is the first one that i got I absolutely love the designs and this one doesn't have any designs on the bottom but the cool thing is there's designs on the arm take a look at that like how pretty is that so designs on the arms and I wanted to get a little bit more embellishment on these this year because last year there was just embroidery on it and the one that I got in Morocco was really nice with rhinestones and a hoodie so i wanted to get something a little bit more special okay. one that i got was my first pick color wise and then they talked me into getting another one and it was fine because these were really inexpensive when my friend helped me get it for a really good deal so bring a local friend with you to will and deal here's my other one that i got look at how pretty that is i love it and the cool thing is, is that there's embroidery on the bottoms. So this one is a little bit different. The embroidery is on the bottom here. And then also on the edge of the sleeve. So I can't pick and choose which one I like. They're both be beautiful and I can't wait to wear them over the weekend. And I just love them a lot. I really love this costume shop a lot. I got three costumes from him last time. A lot of the dancers get their costumes from him as well. And I went back and I got three more and it's really fun because he did some like touch up things for me, hand sewing it for me in the shop before I left. So here's my three costumes that I got. I won't take it out fully because these are very long and shiny but you'll probably see it on the vlog channel in my week in the life of Julian. I'll just bring out the bra portion of it. So I love this emerald green color. I think this was my first pick as far as for everything that I tried on. So I have that, which I'm looking forward to wearing this weekend. Then I think this was my second pick and I absolutely love this one. And the reason being is because I don't have anything with just sequins. So majority of the dress are these gold sequins the bras so you can see kind of a general idea or style of it so this is what the bra looks like 
I love the interesting uh, edges here and yeah all of this beadwork he actually added more on the bra for me but this whole bottom portion of the dress is gold sequins so I'm looking forward to wearing this and seeing how it looks like as the light hits it it's gonna look pretty special so I got that and then I ended up with this color I actually sold a costume similar to this color that I got 20 years ago and it just went in the mail today so I'll show you what the bra looks like and this is a bra and skirt although it kind of could pass as a one piece and i really love the style of the skirt so here is the bra and i absolutely can't wait to wear this one this style is super cute the style of the skirt is really fun with two slits and i will be wearing it over valentine's weekend for work so that's all of the costumes that i got in hanal kalili and i wanted to wrap up today's video with the new jewelry pieces that i got so i got me the Egyptian eye pendant if the camera can pick it up there it is and I got this new chain so I absolutely love this and the story behind this chain is really fun as well and I also got me a Hamza bracelet which I absolutely love as well and it's from these two different sterling silver shops now this particular chain uh, from the shop where I got the galabeas, the cover-ups, I told them that I was looking for a silver chain. So they took me down this alley up into some random warehouse in the Sooks. And I got this silver chain from that silver shop in the middle of nowhere on the second floor of some random building in there. Then we went to another silver shop. And then we got this pendant here. And actually, I got my mom... A bracelet from the, that shop and actually when I picked out the chain I thought this was the perfect length and then when I put the pendant on it hit too low so the pendant shop he had actually uh, cut the chain to make it smaller he sent the boy down the alley with some Egyptian pounds to get it welded and then brought it back added the hook on it and then it worked out perfectly and then he sent me to another silver shop down the alley and that's where I got my Hamza bracelet. It's interesting when I see these pieces I can just remember my time and the stories behind it it makes it a little special but I absolutely love the silver shops in Hano Kalili there's so many of them and I love having some kind of jewelry pieces to remember my time there so I hope you guys enjoyed this collective haul of everything that I got I from Los Angeles to Lebanon there was a stop over in Paris and I knew coming back I wanted to get some macaroons for my grandma we have these particular macaroons now here in Beverly Hills and at the Grove I wanted to get them specifically from France uh, because I wanted it to be made there so I got them there and and these are my grandma's uh, Valentine's Day macaroons. So very special. And I just, I love macaroons and little things like this. So I just want to show you what I got my grandma for Valentine's Day. Beautiful macaroons from the Paris airport. And that was very fun to pick out. And I'm glad that I was able to pick up a box of these very famous I'm macaroons. I was able to pick up a box of these very famous macaroons and I just love the box. It looks like a jewelry box. Look at how pretty I'm that is. I'm gonna wrap up my collective haul from Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, and a little bit of Paris, France. I hope you guys enjoy seeing all of the treats and seeing my first impressions and seeing all of the goodies that I got, some art pieces for my row collection, new stuff for work, and of course new jewelry, which I will be like using every day. I'm attached to these pieces already. Sound off in the comments down below if you enjoy these collective hauls for my travels and I will be doing it when I'm back from every single trip of mine in the future. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you're new, welcome, subscribe to the vlog channel between the main channel Monday to Friday and the vlog channel Saturday and Sunday. You get a video each and every day. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing that I picked up in this Travel with Julian series and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye!